Well, welcome to the Red Men TV. I'm so excited to tell you that I am here at Liverpool Gin Distillery in Liverpool City Centre to meet some competition winners and a very special guest, one Mr. Bruce Grobelar. Yeah, we put a competition out on Twitter in partnership with Liverpool Gin uh, to give away a gin lab experience where we get to make our own gin, where we get to name our own gin. Let's get inside and see what this is all about. Right, I'm here with Anton, the head distiller at Liverpool Gin Distillery. Um, what are we going to be doing today, mate? So, you're going to be making a bottle of gin each, uh, this big. So you're making a 70 CL bottle of gin on our two litre copper stills. Uh, you get to select your own flavours, uh, along the way you're going to be drinking some gin as well. You're going to be making your own bottle of gin, effectively. Excellent, so we get to name the gin as well? Yeah, you get to call it whatever you want. We've got our aromatics behind us that I can see. Mm -hmm. I can see juniper there and a load of other different things and stuff like that. And we've obviously got ethanol in the bottles. Yeah, so the base spirit we use is actually closer to a vodka than anything else. Mm -hmm. It's called a neutral grain spirit and that's 55% ethanol, very flavourless. We turn it into a gin by adding the main ingredient, which is juniper berries and then some other flavours along the way. Okay, and then what do we do? I can see other stuff here. That looks like something from the school bench where you'd have a Bunsen burner connected to it. What's going on here? So we heat up the ethanol and the botanicals and then it condenses uh, through this water here back into a liquid and your gin streams out to be at 85%. You can just come in and do this. You can book through the website and you're able to come and maybe take a stag group or just yeah. a group of friends here and do this for a night out. So this is the biggest lab. It accommodates for 14 people in total, but we take bookings anywhere from one to 14 people. So we can do one-on-one -on -one sessions, but this is where we get the bigger ones like hen do's, stag do's, birthday parties and stuff like that. Highly flexible, we take bookings seven days a week. Nice, looking forward to it. So it says gin name, but there's absolutely no rush to come up with a name for your gin, unless you've been doing your homework, like Bruce. Corner taken quickly. A gin! <laughs> I think I've had every gin pun under the sun. Um, I've had loads of like Liverpool references as well, so I've had loads of like Ginny Wine albums. Oh, you bastard. <laughs> oh, it's been done. He's done it. Yes. Back to the drawing board. I'm not having that. Have that. <laughs> as much as I want you to make your own gin, it's more important that you leave with a nice tasting bottle of gin. So if the sea is mixing anything suspicious along the way, <laughs> I'll let you know. This is very breaking bad, isn't it? Isn't it? Right, that's too much. No, it's not. It's perfect. It's meant to be. You rub these at the end of the night and go, oh, that was nice. <laughs> Take inspiration, that's for sure. <laughs> mm -hmm. Lovely, so I'm happy with all the flavours you've got in place. There's some interesting and strong gins um, that you've got weighed out here, so we'll start to cook them now. So if you want to bring your botanicals up to the copper stills, we'll get started. So inside here at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> so the second you pour your botanicals into the base spirit, it's officially an uncooked gin. Now you want to place your hood back on, and then you want to place it as efficiently on the heat mat in front of you as possible, and then screw the elbow onto the condenser. Definitely feel like Breaking Bad now, <laughs> doesn't it? With distillation, there's three parts. There's the heads, the hearts, and the tails. So we collect the heads, uh, we get rid of that, and then after the heads, the good stuff comes out, which is the heart. And that's the stuff you'll be taking home with you. How long is this gonna take? This is gonna take about 20 minutes okay, to start good. producing. <laughs> I'm out of here. <laughs> so yeah, give it like a vigorous mix. Yep. So now soak that on there. 
and I'll look towards the light and you will see your percentage. 41. 41. <laughs> Whoa, that is not bad, if I may say so myself. <laughs> Jungle gin is ready for production. <laughs> That's quite nice. Talented. Now look towards the lightest point in the room and that will be the flat top percentage. That is nice. That is really nice. Whoa. Yeah, it does taste like a normal gin yeah, and it's, <laughs> it's still nice though. It's crisp. It's subtle tasting. It's uh, quite well rounded. You've done well, man. Okay. Yeah. Nice one. Corner taking quickly and reach in! <laughs> 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 Thank you very much. That was beautiful, mate. That was absolutely brilliant. <laughs> Only two thirds of a bottle, one third is vaporized. <laughs> Watch out when you drink it, jungle gin by the jungle man. Hey! There you go, boss. Superb. Are we able, are we able to yeah. tag him? Dajian, Bovran. Boom. <laughs> well played. Nice Show great composure there. You did, didn't he? Well played. All the composure of Dajian Lovren. <laughs> That's yeah, well played. That's really good, though. That's boss. Right then, no messing around there. Beautiful. Well played. Nailed it. Nearly won them. Three. No Dunk. There you go. Happy with that? Yeah, good stuff. Happy with that. Right, so basing these purely on taste, my favourite, because I like strong and spicy gins, was the jungle gin. 57% is the strongest Fix. one. Fix. Fix. That's the best gin. Best one. You can't say that. Second was the yeah, gin cloth. That was dead nice, dead Christmassy. Smashed it. Jerry Ginnaman. Also dead nice, dead palatable. I'll take the Champions League space. <laughs> and then Dejan Lovren after that. <laughs> well played, fella. And then last place, we Shit. have the Origin. <laughs> well played. That. <laughs> that was brilliant, that one, eh? Yeah, unbelievable. Like, just the whole kind of uh, experience of making your own gin. It was a good laugh. Very good laugh with all you guys and, and obviously Bruce as well, so. Enjoyed it. He's, he's absolutely brilliant though, isn't he? He was getting so into it and yeah. to do this with a Liverpool legend and, and all that, like big thank you to, to Liverpool Gin Distillery, of course. Um, we've teamed up with them, as we know, it was a competition yeah. uh, that you won and, and I, I must admit, I didn't know what to expect when it came in, but I've absolutely loved it here tonight and it's just been brilliant. Yeah, no, definitely. It's uh, definitely a once in a lifetime thing, so, you know, making gin with a South African goalkeeper. <laughs> It's just like the most random Thursday of all time, really, for me. And listen, if you want to get involved, then you can come down to the Liverpool Gin Distillery. Uh, as viewers of Redmen TV, we have teamed up with them to offer you the chance to do what we've just done without the Liverpool legend for £40 instead of 70 quid. You walk away with a 70cl bottle of your own gin that you've got your label on and all that. You get to wax it yourself, as you've seen, and you can do that for 40 quid. All you need to do is visit liverpoolgindistillery.com forward slash experiences and use the code REDMENXMAS. 40 quid, an hour and a half, two hours entertainment, make your own gin. You had how many, how many gin tonics? Probably about five, four, five, I think four or five, 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 yeah. <laughs> it's just an absolutely brilliant experience, so get involved. Link is in the description. Thanks very much. Definitely. We'll see you next time. Thanks very much.